Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I'm back, um, taking over again, and we, I brought two Pip Squeaks. We've got Pip Squeak 1. Oh, that's me. Oh, that's 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 me. Why am I not Pip Squeak? Why am I Pip Squeak, yeah, Pip Squeak 1? Uh, okay, Herman, sure. the third year, and we have Pip Squeak number 2 beneath the first year, and I'm the second year. So we're going to be comparing each of our years of medical school, and uh, let's go from there. You guys ready? You Pip Squeak 1 ready. You got called Pip Squeak. <laughs> Sound off. I'm not sounding off. Sound off! Sound off! Wait, what? Sound off! Pip Squeak 1. Pip Squeak 2? This is not more than the This is exactly what I'm talking about. Structure is first year you learn the basics, biochemistry, anatomy, all that stuff. And the second year you learn cardio, respiratory, the systems, like basically your body systems. And then third year you go and apply it in the hospitals. Fourth year you kind of do the same thing. And then you go to residency. That's a general outline for a lot of people. Trauma school is a little different. First thing, let's just go ahead and start with Beneath, who's a uh, first year right now. Mm -hmm. How is your first year? What did you expect? Does it live up to your expectations? What well, you... firstly, I'm only like five yeah. months into first That's year. That's winning only. That I think the studying's free. pretty much what I expected. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. I don't think I expected it to be easier or harder. Like, I feel like... Um, how much do you study? Yeah, how much do you study? Uh, so my you, studying's very, work. like, phase dependent. So, like, for the weeks leading up to the exam, like the two weeks before the exam, it's like full So you're mode. a procrastinator. No, I'm not. Mm. Procrastinating is okay. when you hold off for like three weeks and you don't keep up. I keep up every day. It's just do I keep up to the point of testable detail. So I'd say the two weeks before my exam, I put in a lot of work and I spend a lot more time. But the other like, depending on how long the block is, like the other like three or four weeks are really not that bad. I nice. go to lectures. I go to doctoring. I have like full on days. So... So like you would you say, because like most people are trying to come, yeah. so most people are trying to basically get the juice, so it's four hours a day pretty much for you. Yeah, so for homework, like I obviously do lectures and stuff at school, and then coming home and reviewing what I've done is an additional four hours, so it's still a pretty long day. Like I come mm. home oh, at like, super long day, yeah, yeah, I come home at like three or even sometimes five, and then I study for like four hours, that's already like nine o'clock if I don't take any breaks, you know, so it still is a lot of work, but is it like taxing dying work, not until two weeks before the exam. I had anatomy, radiology, ultrasound, and embryology all in a couple weeks, so it was not easy. So biochem was, I would say, more on the easier side. Anatomy was very time consuming. I was in dissection for at least three, four hours a day after lectures in the morning and then go home, review today's stuff, stay in lab, learn that stuff, go over next day's stuff. Like, and it was a crap ton of information. So it was a lot to keep up with. And in the last couple weeks, I was literally dying Hadn't worn makeup in weeks. It was very, very difficult. I think you had a different experience in anatomy, right? Yeah, I think the, yeah. our anatomy is diffuse. Like it's, yeah. I don't know if diffuse is right, but our anatomy is like spread, like spread out, out between, yeah. like we learn it as we learn the different systems. Yeah. But how does that compare to your first year? Uh, my first year is kind of similar because we started out with biochem and genetics. So again, that's pretty easy, pretty simple. A lot of it is review. So, um, yeah, like not even, I wouldn't even say I studied like four hours a day for that because it was all review and we have like other activities going on at the same time. Yeah. Um, like introductory activities and all that. So, um, we're doing other stuff than studying initially. So like the first couple of months were pretty damn easy. Wow. And then, um, compared to like now, second year, second year is a lot more tough. You have to, uh, right now I'm learning new stuff. Like we just finished our neurology block which is pretty annoying. Uh, a lot of people love it and it's interesting, but it's like pretty damn hard. Like with all the tracks and everything, it's a lot to keep track of. Right now I'm learning the neurology stuff, which we just finished and now I'm learning reproduction, but we're, I'm keeping up with current material, but I'm also going back and reviewing all of the older material. Yeah. I think, um, yeah, the thing Shaman's saying is uh, why second year is hard. I think overall second year is way, way easier because you're big dealing in systems like cardiovascular, respiratory and all that stuff. Where it gets hard is where you're trying to balance studying for boards and reviewing things and then certain things like Shaman's school, you're out in the, they throw you out in uh, hospitals and rotations earlier than other schools. So. Um, Shabba's experience is definitely going to be different and comparing all that stuff to my experience, first year I studied a lot, second year uh, I started not studying for my classes, I started studying for my boards, um, so I kind of, instead of kind of choosing between keeping up with both of those, I just chose and studied for boards, which I still was doing fine in class, so I was fine with that, um, but compared to third year, 
third year is a lot less studying as it is getting out there and learning practical knowledge. So I'm not really spending a lot of time in books. Um, I should be spending a little more time in books, but like overall, you don't really have to. You really get out there and learn uh, how things work in the hospital and how to talk to patients and how to deal with uh, the conditions you've read about and studied um, over the first two years. So it's not as much studying. It gets pretty, it gets pretty fun. Do you feel special wearing the white coat? A lot of people, a lot of young kids, you know, when they wear no, the white coat, I, they put this does I, scope on, no. take a lot of pictures, they feel special. Yeah, okay, is that a direct hit? Yeah, as many times as I, as chances as I get, I take the white coat off, like scrubs and all that stuff is way better. Like, even when I'm practicing, I don't feel like I'm going to wear the white coat, I'm just not a fan. Um, also, don't you think that even for every individual year, or even first year, second year, whatever, it's definitely, as far as like difficulty with what we're saying, is mm -hmm. shaped on the individual, I feel like, right? Of course, like what yeah. your expectations are, what you're trying to get exactly. out of the class. So I know people in my class who take it way harder, like yeah. even at Yale probably, That's even true. though they're more yeah. lax about being independent, there's gonna be people who take it really difficult, wanna know every detail. Yep. My goals are to extract what I can from classes, pass my classes, but really focus on step material. Like if my teacher wants to focus on random research, I will maybe learn the summary version of a re or that, you know what I mean? Just to yeah. pass the class, but I'm not gonna keep it in my brain for boards and make it take up space. One thing I should note is that at a lot of these uh, academic or research-based institutions, a lot of the classes do focus on like new research and new findings and stuff. Mm -hmm. So there's the base curriculum like that everyone knows that's in first aid. And then there's all this supplemental stuff. And one of the things that changed between first year and second year for me is, and I think a lot of my classmates too, and a lot of people probably in general, is that they focus less on the actual lectures and less on the supplemental research stuff. And they focus more on like the core stuff because there's already so much stuff in medicine. Yeah. And like in the first year, I was trying to balance all this new information, all this research information. Like I was trying to balance everything. And it is, it's basically impossible to do it like properly. Yeah. Unless you're like um, perfect school, and you start from day one. In my school, I'm pretty sure people have not gotten there yet. <laughs> what? That's smart. Like yeah, my classmates are still like very into every detail. Which is like, I wish we could. Oh. Like it'd be great because you are like, yeah, where like people are discovering stuff and they're giving you the latest information. It'd be awesome to be able to look at all that. But it's just no, like, but like also aside from, it's not that things aren't important it's more about is it important enough for me to really spend this time on it in the short amount of time yeah it's all, important. it's all important it's just you don't have enough, there's no way you have enough time to do everything so you have to prioritize and that's going to be lower on your priority list my tip actually for a lot of people coming into med school is that too many students are focusing on way too many resources they're buying mm. 400 <laughs> <laughs> uh, too many students are focusing on way too many resources, so they're buying like $400 firecracker subscription, they're buying all these other subscriptions, they're buying all these books, and then they end up using like two of them. So, I like firecracker. I know, I bought all Yeah, I definitely buy what you need, but don't buy everything and then only use one. Figure out what resources are useful and stick to those, because um, again, you're just going to end up actually knowing less by studying way too many resources because you're going to dilute the important information. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but the thing is you have to buy all and find out what works for you. That's you can not if you have a video from me. Oh yeah, that's true too. We're definitely yeah. going to be breaking it all down. Pretty much third year, all I'm doing is uh, learning as much as I can from uh, doctors and things like that and re out in the actual field in the hospitals. And then in my actual study time, I'm doing, uh, you know, same kind of resources I was doing in first year. It's just uh, like for a firecracker, I do the uh, third year material and like this online med ed and stuff like that. So there's a little bit different resources. Like instead of Fathoma, you do online med ed, stuff like that. Kind of same deal. It's just you're not studying as much because you already know that stuff. It's like first two years you learn all that stuff and in the third year you just add a little bit extra layer to it. Um, it's a pretty big layer, but it's like <laughs> on top of stuff that you've already heard of so it's not as bad the stuff you have to know even for step one that is a pretty difficult exam like to get really high scores on it um like for my first couple Doing this exactly for, for my really first for my for my first couple of exams like i didn't really have to study the material was already there from step one so yeah, hmm. that's that. Interim for your third years? Yeah, for the third years now. Oh, wow, so that's interesting. See, we don't have the pressure of step. We take step third year at the end of... I, uh, the years are all messed up. We take it in like more than a year from now. Yeah, numbers. so we take it a while from now, but you are pressured to... Well, not pressured, but like for me, I've pressured to make sure I master the stuff before I go to the clerkships. 
because um, if you're not familiar with what pimping is, you're basically asked questions by doctors, and if you don't know anything, you kind of look like an idiot. <laughs> you so, guys probably aren't pimped as much as we are, though. Well, you're, you're pimped a lot? Well, only this one block with this one lady who nobody likes. Who pimps us constantly about random stuff and when you don't know it, she says, you should have known that. Sounds you know like that. a bully. Sounds like a bully. She is a bully. She doesn't pimp me as bad. So you've been bullied. To shut up. You've huh? been bullied. She told someone to shut up. Yeah, she told someone to shut up. She shut up. I'm supposing this lady. Dang. Why don't you just make a story time? I mean, she, didn't, she never harassed me, but I mean, guys, stay tuned. Stay tuned for the ob guyne Rotation review. Oh God. Well, I never went to class and I didn't listen to much. Exactly. Yeah. So how is it switching from no classes to... Oh, I have way to... less free time now, for sure, compared to before where I used to skip everything. Well, I was more time at home, I should say, because uh, over there, in my first two years, it was not mandatory class, but I was at home studying. Uh, now I'm at the hospital 9-5 or 7-5, to five, where like this rotation was like 7-7, seven to seven, basically. 7-7? But... Seven seven? Yeah, for this one. Um, is that unethical? No, they're right. allowed to do it. Then you have to study at home. Yeah, then you have to come home and study. So I mean, like, that's not that crazy compared to what I do. Yeah, it's pretty similar. So the thing is, it is on rotation by rotation. It's just I'm less at home chilling in my pajamas studying versus um, less studying and going out in the place and doing work. All right, so I got a question for you mm -hmm. uh, about that. But before I ask it, I gotta paint the picture because this is something. This is something nobody understands. Nobody. Yeah, absolutely no Take one. Two. <laughs> and basically when you talk about how long you worked and like I worked for four hours or I worked for six hours, I worked for eight hours. Basically people right now are saying the more hours you work is like more strenuous when yeah. that's not the case. Yeah. How strenuous your work is, is based on hours but also what work you're doing. So if you're doing like three hours of calculus or six hours of like filling up balloons. The three hours is a lot more strenuous and a lot more difficult and I would much rather fill the balloons for six hours. Exactly. So it's not just how many hours you say. So when you say you're out at the hospital exactly. for more hours. Exactly. Now my question is- It's is filling I'm, balloons for sure. Nine to five is no, more that's like filling balloons. Question. Yeah, no, but that's pretty much what you're trying yeah, to say. Yeah, is it more, uh, is it less strenuous than yeah. when you were in the first two years? Exactly, so I would I'd rather be out here nine to five filling balloons rather than what you're doing would studying. You? Is that your final verdict? Yeah, that's what I would be doing. Of course, third year was, is a lot more fun. But is third year filling up balloons or is it actually It's strenuous? filling up balloons compared to studying biochemistry nonstop, yeah. But you seem kind of stressed out with like... I'm not... The only, the, yeah, the only place... I'm having a great time. I'm only stressed out about when I'm stuck with a couple of preceptors. When and that's not even the right word. Just not... I'm just annoyed, not stressed out. Which, but what would you rather be doing? Would you yeah, rather be third doing year. what you're doing with more time or... I mean, yeah. Oh, that's true too. That yeah, I mean, that's a and tough. And we have to think about it. I mean, I, you're acting. No, it is a tough time. time yeah, but you also it, you have to understand it's it's not it's a give or take. It's either more time uh, doing. But like, is it even easier work? Like, isn't it strenuous? Easier isn't work. Doesn't it require your brain to like operate, pulling out babies and stuff? And you're like being getting pimped. Isn't that more? Strenuous? That's it's not. not it's not so. It's strenuous in a different way. It is balloon filling versus pulling out sitting babies. there and you have oh, a. Not. <laughs> yeah, it's what you do. But what is harder? What is, is it? I guess it is picture terms poison. Non terms of being pimped or yeah. looking for exams. Yeah, in terms of the thing itself, it's, it's harder. harder to study and look and yeah. put all the stuff and in your brain, or is it harder to do the stuff at the it hospital? It depends on the person. For me, I would rather be at the hospital, being done with my main stresses of step one and all that garbage. So I think third year is. Is that for took me, only better. 90 years for yeah. you to say. Oh. Now, are you looking, Benita, are you looking forward to going to the hospital? Or you yeah, what are you looking time? forward to? Um, I'm enjoying this? my time. I Some doctor came in and gave us like a little spiel before he started his lecture about how if you keep on looking forward for things to end, you're just never going to be content. So I mean, he That's was, for sure true. Yeah, yeah, so he was saying like, I know you guys are all saying, God, I can't wait till anatomy's done, but like, you should enjoy anatomy. So towards the end, oh, I was... Well, no, I <laughs> agree. <laughs> I'll take it one second. I agree. Oh, yeah, I found anatomy really annoying at times, but at the same time, it was kind of cool how we got to like, you know, be in the lab and I know like so much about the body. You could literally bust a body open and I can name things in it. Like, that's pretty cool. A few moments later. I didn't, okay. Yeah. This is a True. long spiel. All I ask yeah. is, do you well, prefer the <laughs> hospital or do you prefer it? I said none of them. She I'm very said she's just content. I'm taking it wherever I am. I'm going to be happy fine. with yeah, it. That's fine. That's a good point. Life lessons from Core Beauty. Okay, uh, my life lesson Ooh. is be content, lessons. but also have a brain and know what you prefer. No. 
<laughs> now, do you prefer uh, the chocolate ice cream, or do you want to keep? I'm just gonna enjoy. I'm just gonna enjoy. Enjoy. I'm just gonna enjoy. <laughs> For now, optimism. Which is nothing. You go to the grocery. You go to the grocery store. Uh, hey, please pick some stuff up. We have. We just have. Yeah, we, we have go. everything we need <laughs> until we <laughs> don't need. It. You want to conclude? It? All right, guys. So I'll be concluding it. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna hurry it up. Okay, sorry. Um, <laughs> thanks so much for watching this video. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below to the Med Bros channel. And uh, we will see you guys in our next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace. Bye. Thumbnail. Oh.